squad Trey Song's name is back in the news. These stories about Trey Songs and his um, behavior, shall we say, have been hot and in the press for like literally the last few years. Now, controversial Bad Girls Club star Winter Blanco is coming out with her own story of a very traumatic altercation that she had with Trey Songs. Let's see what she had to say and I'll be back with my thoughts. You can be a sweet, charming person yeah. to a hundred people, but very that true. doesn't mean that you didn't do what you did to, you know, yeah. five people, 15 people. Like that doesn't take away from you being a bitcher. That just takes away from their personal experience. And like, that's another way that abusers get enabled is because they're like like a Dr. Jekyll they have, yeah they have people in their corner like well he never did it to yeah. me well I never seen it and I'm not gonna lie I was friends with Trey Songs for years and he never did anything to me either and then one day he did and he put his hands on me and I never talked about it this is the first time I've ever talked about this publicly I really don't give a fuck anymore he put his hands on me scared the fuck out of me and I never said anything I never went to the police I never answered the lawyers calls when they was calling I never tried to get some money out of it because at the time it was girls settling for a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars and I never did it in the I what in 2020 I had when that girl came out saying that he her I had her lawyer like reached out to me and was like we're getting this stuff together and like we want you to be a part of it and I was like I can't be a part of it but like now kind of where, where I am in my life is like I'm tired of letting others get away with so much like it's old as and like there's plenty of them in Hollywood there's plenty of people that need to be behind fucking bars like lock them the fuck up so when when did that happen 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. 2018. I can't believe you're talking about this. I got sweaty just now. I know, me too. I've you're never talked about it. It's a very scary thing. I never talked about it. And I remember I was like not ever going to talk about it because I was still trying to do music. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't want this effect to affect my career. Yeah. Which, which a lot of women mm -hmm. have to deal with. And I mean, at this point... If so many people are coming out and saying pretty much the same thing about this man, some or all have to be true. And I know a lot of people don't like Winter because of um, things that she said and done in the past. But I hope that people don't automatically assume that she's lying or looking for clout um, because of her past history or whatever. But, you know... I always reference back to Kiki Palmer when she outed Trey Songs. what was it, about five, six years ago, and nobody believed Kiki. And Kiki has always had a reputable rep uh, reputation in Hollywood. She's never gotten into any type of altercations, beefs, or anything like that, except for, you know, the situation with her child's father here recently. And people didn't believe her, and people tend to not believe women, especially women of color. And no, Winter is not a woman of color, child. But um, people just tend to not believe women in general. But, I mean, this is just getting out of hand. It's really, truly sad. And I wonder when he's going to be taken down for the things that he has done to women and the disgusting behavior he has exuded throughout the years it's really sad and I used to be a huge Trey Song fan I loved his music couldn't wait till he came out with a new album as you've seen he hasn't put out any work in years um because this stuff keeps on coming up and knocking him right back down again and if this stuff is true then this is what he gets you know what I'm saying it's truly what he gets and what he deserves but his career has really taken a, a, a pivot downhill over the years. And it's sad. And I feel for any victims, if he did do this stuff to these people, which is starting to look like it's true, it's just crazy. It really honestly is. What y'all think? Y'all think um, Winter is telling the truth? You think she's looking for clout? Let's talk about it. I want to hear you guys' opinions. And if you guys have not joined my Patreon, please do so. The link is down below in the description box. All of my reviews for reality shows and television shows will be on Patreon first. My Patreon. 
Patreon memberships will get the raw, unedited, uncut version of my reviews and YouTube will get them later on in the week and they will be edited and shortened. So if you want to have fun over there, some adult fun, honey, join my Patreon. There are two tiers. The first tier is $5 for just reality show and television reviews and the second tier is ten dollars where you will get reviews and reaction videos and watch alongs so make sure you join my patreon make sure you thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye sorry do i know you oh it looks like your friend dad's caught a little amnesia huh so maybe i can get your number take you out for dinner when it comes to somebody like Rock, this is his lifestyle. This is who he is. Who are you, Rock? And what do you want from me? Are you some kind of kingpin? You probably get the fan that you, you motherfucker coming from. This time I can't do shit to bother you. And they're not gonna stop until they get me. And if not me, the next in charge. And that will be you. Brenda Hampton's film, Who You Wit, is available now for streaming on Tubi and Peacock. How are you, Donna? Well, uh, shorty that went into my fiance car. It's something different about him, and I know that he has a girl, but everything about him just says that he's supposed to be mine. Like, I can honestly feel it. Man, I see you out here doing big things, man. Being here with you was really, really making me happy. I feel the same way too. When I get home, I got a lot to handle. You do too. I know you got a man. You have a whole fiance at home, remember? Get out! Girl, did he hit you? No. I already knew how this little thing between us was gonna end. Can I be cooped up in this dirty, dingy ass motel room like this, bro? This right here, this is our reality. We got something special. I have to save myself. Don't touch me again. You know what's happening. Get out! Get out! All my life, I've been waiting for somebody to save me. I knew that it was gonna be you. Oh, I can't seem to let you go. My hit film, Paper Heart, is available right now for streaming on Peacock and Tubi. Enjoy.